nice. We actually did as well. Oh, that was brilliant. How's it going guys? Hope you're all good. I'm Timo and we're trading up some more of Zippo skins on CSGO today. Please drop a like on the video and subscribe down below. We've got a bit of a mix of stuff to do in this one with quite a lot of stat track stuff so hopefully we find some nice outcomes. All the skins that we're using were either unboxed by Zippo or I've traded up to them from Zippo's items and we had to sell a couple of things to get the items for the last trade up which is low odds but huge reward if it works. We also do a couple of trade ups on most of my streams, if you want to check that out there's a link to my Twitch down below, and finally I use trade ups buy to work all of the trade ups out and there's a link for that there as well. So let's get into these, the first one is a nice cheap one, it's mill spectre restricted with gamma, fracture and broken fang. So for this we're using 5 factory new gamma skins which are those ones there and the harvester, 1 skin from fracture which is that old rusty and then to fill out the rest of the contract 4 minimal wear skins from the broken fan collection. Keep the average float below 0 0.07 to get all factory new outcomes here and we get a decent odds at profit with 54% chance to make something even if it's just a couple of pence. Most of the profit outcomes are only small profits with this trade up, so we really want to see the exoskeleton for a big start. So let's see what we get here. Monster call. Okay, that's still alright. That's still a profit. It's like 40p or something profit, but that is one of the 2% outcomes from the one fracture skin that we had in there. So that is in factory new. So it's a decent little start. 0 0.0683. So not too bad flow. Um, just into factory new there. And yeah, good start. I guess it is a profit outcome. So <laughs> definitely hitting the right side of the coin. Just not the profit outcome that we really wanted, which was that exoskeleton. But still, we'll definitely take it and hopefully we can continue this kind of profit look throughout the rest of these. The next one is a mill spectre restricted again, but this time it's stat track and we're using breakout, broken fang, shattered web and a little chroma for it. We've got four factory new breakout skins for this, which are the labyrinth there, we've got a urban hazard, two urban hazards in fact, and then we move on to the minimal wear skins for it, which we've got from shattered web, from broken fang and from chroma. So we'll get all of those in and you guys can have a look at the picture. You need below 0.07 average float and we get a near 38% chance to profit here. With the AK Rat Rod, Orp Exoskeleton, Desert Eagle Naga and the Org Arctic Wolf representing really decent profits. The only bad losses cost wise would be Breakout, but the floats that we get on three of the four skins mean that even though they're not great, at least they're going to be usable for a further trade up. But hopefully we can find some nice profit from this, so here we go. Okay, cool, that is a Desert Eagle Naga. Again, that is a 2% hit. Right there, getting the Deagle Naga, we had one Chroma skin, which I think gave us a 2.22% chance to hit Chroma from that. And we get the only outcome from Chroma that also could have been profit. That's about £8.60 or something profit, I think, getting the Deagle Naga. So that's really, really good. That is 0 0.0697. So it comes with Factory New Float just in there. But yeah, really, really cool. Very happy with that, considering that we only had like 38% chance to hit a profit outcome to hit one of the 222 percent ones is pretty sick so we'll definitely take it that's quite a nice sale for around 16 pounds i think that is at the moment so yeah pretty happy with that and uh yeah we'll definitely take it and hopefully we can just keep this rolling through the rest of the video so on to the third trade up now and this is a similar one to the last one but this time we're taking out the bigger loss outcomes of breakout the stat track mill specs are restricted again with three factory new skins this time from broken fang horizon and fracture so we'll chuck those ones in there's the other one and then we've got seven minimal wear skins for this these are a mix of ones from chroma from shattered web from broken fang and from fracture so i'll get all these in you guys can have a little look at the picture for it the same average float requirement remains at below 0.07 and we get a 33.3% chance to profit here. So we get slightly less chance than before, but we have eliminated the bigger losses. So the most that we can lose now would be around £1.80 instead of like £3, which will be what we had before. But can we find the nice little odds of 33.3%? Here goes. 
Okay, good little connection. So that's the first loss outcome of the video. That's one of the fracture skins, but it's not the one that would have saved us, which would have been the Mag 7 monster call. If we'd have managed to hit that, that would have at least been a little profit. But all the other ones are losses, and the Galil is... I think the worst one that we could have got from Fracture at the time of recording. So I think it loses about £1.60 or something like that. So not too fantastic. It's our second Fracture hit of the video as well. There we go. Stat track, a little connection. Comes with 0 0.055 float. So a slightly better factory new float than we would have got with the uh, just below 0 0.07 average that we had going in. So not the worst outcome in the world, but it is one of the loss outcomes. So hopefully, let's turn that one around for the fourth video, fourth trade up, and hopefully we get something a bit better. All right, this fourth one that we're going to do now is going to be restricted to classified, and this is going to be a stat track one as well. This is using 10 field tested skins with decent floats, but we can still get some profitable factory new, minimal wear, and even field tested outcomes from this. There's three skins in this trade up from Breakout. We've got the P250 Supernova, we've got the Nova Koi, and we've got the PP Bison Osiris. Then we've got two skins from Broken Fang in the Parallax and the Gold Bismuth, and two from Shattered Web as well in there. And then the final three are a mix of Phoenix, Chroma, and Falchion. So you can have a look at the picture for this one. We get pretty decent odds here, I would say. We get a 50% chance to get profit overall, and the average float that we're using is 0 0.195, so just slightly better than 0.2. The best hit would be the AK Red Line here with quite a nice field tested float which would net us around £20 profit but the Dragon King M4, the AK Cartel, the Tech 9 Decimator and the USP Monster Mashup are all pretty good outcomes too. There's some smaller profits in there but a 3.33% Red Line would be very nice but what's Gaben going to give us it? Okay, Deagle Conspiracy. So that's actually pretty good. That is not a bad outcome at all. That is £4.40 or something profit. So that's pretty good. That's one of the factory new outcomes that we could got from the trade up. It was a 10% chance to hit the Deagle Conspiracy. So definitely decent outcome there. Uh, it comes with a 0 0.0586 float. And that's with using pretty much 0.2 going in. So you can see how well you can actually do with getting that Conspiracy as being... I think that and the Nemesis were the two factory new outcomes. And maybe the Nova Antique as well actually from phoenix would have also been factory new so they're the three that we would have got in the best conditions so yeah very happy with that at least we managed to hit the right side of 50 percent and actually get a profit outcome from it so still three profits so far this video one loss now we're going into the final trade up which is a very high risk high reward one if we can find a profit outcome in that i'll be extremely happy so we'll see how we do with that next Okay, and now for the fifth and final trade-up of the video, and this is the most expensive and risky one that we're going to do today. This is a Millspector Restricted Stat Track trade-up, and it's a 4% shot at a Stat Track Factory New Desert Eagle Crimson Web, with everything else being a loss, so the words high risk, high reward were literally made for this trade-up. This requires a 0.0135 average float or better to get the 0.06 float cap Deagle into Factory New. This cap also applies to the buys on Blue Streak and the P90 Virus, but they are worth nowhere near what the deal was worth. So for this, we're using two skins from the Esports 2014 Summer Collection, which are the two USP Blood Tigers, and then all the other eight skins are all low-floated skins from the Spectrum 2 Collection, all G3S G1 Hunters, so I'll let you guys have a little look at the picture for this. If we manage to hit the Esports Summer Collection, then at least the losses are a little bit better than if we hit Spectrum 2, but really, we just need the Deagle here. The price of that thing is nuts and would represent somewhere around 275 to 300 pounds profit after Steam Tax, depending on what you could get for it. I've tried to do the regular Factory New Crimson webs before a couple of times, and I've never got one, but is that going to change here for the Stat Track version? Come on! Ah oh, man, yeah, <laughs> it was never going to work. There we go. Stat track Ziggy is what we end up with at the end of that. So that was one of the Spectrum 2 outcomes, which it was 16% chance to hit. 
but that was a pretty big loss. I think that was like going to be about 14, 15 pounds loss on that, the Statrak Ziggy. Um, it's got a really good float, obviously, because of the requirements to get the Deagle into factory new. So it comes with a better than point, what, point zero 0.01 float there. We get a double zero 009. So pretty good float. It's a pretty cool shotgun, to be honest. But unfortunately, it is an XM shotgun. It's not that desirable. And yeah, it's not going to really sell for that much money in comparison to what we spent on the trade up. So a little bit of an unfortunate end, but I really wanted to try that because hitting that would have been absolutely insane. But still, we did manage to take some profits from this video. We got three trade-ups, I think, which were nice outcomes. And then we had a small loss on that Galil. And then obviously this right at the end. But still, I'll take it. It wasn't too bad overall. So that's all for today, guys. I hope that you've enjoyed these trade-ups and it helps you with some ideas for doing your own. A huge thanks to Zippel for providing me with all the skins and a huge thank you to you all for watching. Cheers, guys. Take care and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye-bye.